name's Mike Sheldrake, and I make surfboards out of cardboard. And they're hollow, cardboard, fiberglass, epoxy, and that's it. And in fact, I was just staring at the wall here and thinking, well, what if I could make my own? I want to make a wood board or something like that. You know, making a wood board is not cheap, and my whole idea was to save money. I also don't have all the woodworking tools or experience. And so, if I was going to do this wood thing, I needed to know it was going to work the first time because I didn't want to waste money. So I was going to mock it up in cardboard. And cardboard is so much cheaper, and you can use cheaper tools with it. And I know how to use like scissors and razor blades. So, yeah, I, I stuck with it. In college, I became familiar with the internet. Eventually got some uh, web jobs, just basic entry level web jobs. And I picked up a lot of programming skills there that later on when I came to this project, I wasn't afraid to try to use the computer. And it's not like I already knew how to do it. I just pretty much knew that I could probably figure it out and it was worth a try. A 3D program is for designing everything. I wanted a program that made it really easy just to do surfboards. So I finally, re I just finally decided I got to do this all myself. I got to write my own programs to do this. Figure out what math is necessary. Figure out, you know, all the other steps. And I enjoyed that process. So yeah, I en ended up making my whole own system. If you just run your hands up and down a board, if you, you're checking out the template, the whole thing, uh, anybody has that skill to appreciate those curves. So the, the thing with the program is you make a program that uses those same curves that everyone can relate to and somehow represents the whole board that way. And then when you get into math and the programming of it, you can take a cross section in the computer from any angle, uh, any direction. And then if you have a whole bunch of cross sections, well, they intersect, you know, so you can have the computer figure out how to notch each piece so they can all fit together. A lot of people are interested in these boards simply because they look different, so they'll take an interest and they'll come up and talk to me about it. I came to expect that, but what was surprising was more than half the people were actually asking me for kits before I had said anything about it. But to see there was that much um, demand, there was more than half of the interest, uh, I decided to focus on kits and produce them for people. So you get this kit and all the shape is in all the pieces. Some people from out of town, maybe from inland, say, oh, is that what's inside surfboards? So they think this is like how all surfboards are made. Some people assume that it's some really advanced technology. I'll say, oh, is that carbon fiber? Oh, is that like uh, aluminum honeycomb? Or, you know, they'll ask some crazy like high-tech question like that. And I'm like, no, it's not carbon fiber, really. It's just cardboard. I mean, this whole project could have been done in the 70s at an aerospace place for pretty cheap. So, um, yeah, it's nothing new, it's nothing super high tech.